Hi guys and welcome to this live launch. Look at this, we're running so late that I haven't even done this. So let me do this. I'm gonna do that. And look who's here. It's Jamie Dawes. Hello. So guys, welcome to uh, this live launch. We've got a great one for you tonight. And this has been a product that we haven't been teasing, but it was due to be out last year and it's been delayed and delayed. It's finally out now. And it was one of the hits of the Blackpool conventions for us at Alakazam Magic. Um, so, go. What are you saying? Nothing. I was just listening. Oh. <laughs> right. So we're going to say a, a few hellos. We've got Paul, Robert, Walter, uh, Ian, Rob, Dave, Andy, loads of you joining us. So welcome, guys. Um, so tonight is a product by a very good friend of ours, Mr. Martin Pierce, and it is a phenomenal book test. Now, those that have joined us on the lives would have heard things about this over the past uh, months. And finally, now you can get your hands on it, or at least you can. If you weren't at Blackpool, because chances are you would have picked one up there. Yeah, we did so well at Blackpool. Yeah, as really, soon as Martin really well. I'm going to take my jacket off. Uh, it's, it's very hot in here, so I did think you were going to sweat through that. <coughs> um, but yeah, it was so good. Everyone that came up to saw it um, either bought it or bought up another person to come and watch yep. it to also buy one. Yep. Um, so and yeah. And had, we had Loki in the studio this afternoon and Martin performed it on Loki. And uh, as soon as Martin walked out of the room, Loki went, so what, what is it that's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's such a brilliant book test. So if this is the first live launch you've joined us for, just to explain what happens, um, at about quarter past, so in about 10 minutes, we're going to play the premiere of the trailer. Um, and then we're going to explain a bit more about the product. You guys can ask questions about it and everything else, and you'll be able to place your orders. Uh, but before then, let's introduce our special guests. If you can hit them off mute here, and let's introduce them. In the new Alakazam studio area. Welcome, guys. We're on. Hey. Hello. Hello, everyone. Look How are you all this. doing? We're, we're all good. How are you in there? I've got, we've got to listen out because you are like about a mile away in the other end of the studio. Yeah, right? How are we, you? Should have, we should have all been wearing our earpieces, to be fair. Then we wouldn't have to shout. We're not prepared, though, are we? But no. uh, obviously, I'm joined by Martin and Robin. How are you two doing? Good? All good, thank you, Harry. Yeah, great to see you, mate. And yeah. you. Um, just off the back of a fresh Nando's, we'll just say as well, guys. So don't be too jealous. Cheeky one. A cheeky, yeah, you are right. You are right. <laughs> uh, now, I do just want to say this, um, and it is the truth. We, te we did tease this on a live a little while ago, didn't we? We and did. Honestly, I've had a lot of phone calls, people ringing up, can I get this yet, can I get this yet? And I've had to say, no, you can't. But now is the time where you can actually grab this. Obviously the product will go later, live later on in the day, uh, on, in the evening where you can pick up and things like that. We'll be doing a performance of it and things like that. But just for those of you who don't know, you've, somehow they don't know who Martin Pierce is, introduce yourself. What's your style of magic? When did you get into it? Things like that. Well, I've been a professional magician for about 35 years. I know what you're thinking, I don't look old enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you magic, magic's in my blood. Uh, magic excites me. And yeah, I create a lot of magic. I do lectures, uh, I say Alakazam people do know me. Mm -hmm. My magic is, I like to think, uh, quite hard hitting, it's strong yep. performance, but it's very easy to do. I concentrate on the entertainment factor. So yep. anyone who knows my magic knows if you pick something on me, you, you will be able to do it. And, so uh, good. Yeah, it, it is on the entertainment factor. My job is to go around and put a smile on people's faces mm. when I'm performing. And I, and I know you guys like the magic as well. So oh. this is magic you will want to do and magic you'll be able to do. That's the, that's the thing, you know, and that's what I love about all, literally all your stuff. Like you just said, you know, you'll be able to do it. And so many times, you know, you look at something and you think, it's a cool idea, but it won't really work in the real world, or it can only, you only have to do it in this environment. All of your stuff you can do whenever, wherever, and so quickly as well. Like your academy went down an absolute storm, your books go down a storm, the Perfect 10 DVD, all that stuff people absolutely love. Um, and this like book test we're going to be speaking about tonight is just genius. How you come up with that, I haven't got a clue. Well, uh, I, I could, well, I don't think 
I think I said it on the live earlier on. Uh, lottery is great. Everyone loves a lottery. It's yep. exciting. People relate to it. They've got stories, what they do with the money. But there's not many lottery tricks out there. 100%. So I'm thinking, okay, let's create some a lottery trick. It only took me a couple of years, but I've <laughs> come up with it in the end. I'll, I'll show you my scrapbook so in a minute clever. to uh, how... Oh, how, have you got how, it in Yeah, I've got the oh, scrapbook. Well, yeah, so I've cool. got the original copy there. That's it's going to show you how it's gone from one stage to the next stage to the next stage to the next stage. Nice. Uh, it was going to be a car trick originally, and I thought, well, I've got to reset all that and all things like that. So, yeah, this... Uh, can you pass the ball there, Robin? No, no, the little one. So this is the creation here. It's called Lucky Numbers. It's so crazy good. stories about crazy people on the lottery. These are all true stories. Uh, when you open the book up, it's completely examinable. It's quite a sexy A6. It's bright, it's colorful. It's so cool. And with a book test, you usually reveal a word and then for the kicker, you, you reveal another word which you did in the first place. So with this one, you've got 16 different reveals. Uh, you're revealing the six colours of the balls, the, the six numbers balls are on the with how much they won, the date on the check, mm. what they spent the money on, all, all things like that. So you can reveal as much as you want to or as little as you want to. I do it in quite a fun, bouncy, entertaining way, which yep. I'll show you later on. But if you wanted to, you could really just present this as like heavy mentalism and, and take your time. But you could literally go to a table and get eight or ten minutes mm. out of this, no trouble whatsoever. And people will think you are the ultimate mind reader. But, uh. It's so true. It's such a fun concept. And I love the fact that, like you said, I mean, obviously we'll talk more about the actual in-depth about the book and things like that later on. But I love the variation of reveals. You know, you could, first of all, you really get them to imagine it rolling out. You've got colours on there. Like you said, you've got numbers, uh, dates. You've got so much. Like, literally, it's crazy how much you can reveal of it. What is the time, by the way? Because are we dropping a trailer or are we just doing a performance? What are we doing? Um... We've got the trailer, and then afterwards we can do a performance. Yeah, yeah, all right. So we'll do that. So um, this obviously took quite a while to come up with, but I will just say it is very easy to learn as well, isn't it? It is. It, uh, when I say there's no memory work, you've got to remember what to do. So yeah. basically from the first bit of information, you can get the second bit of information, etc., yeah. etc. Et you're not fishing, you're not asking them questions no. and things like that. You know exactly what's going on. So as soon as you get that first bit of information, which we explain a bit later on, yep. you can then go on to reveal as much as you want to, and yeah, you will come across like some mind reading like freak. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It is true. And the thing is, the good thing with this as well. And I obviously we were performing this at Blackpool a lot, and everyone was loving it at Blackpool. I'm not just saying that; they were honestly loving it. Um, is the fact that it is so simple to perform. You know, you I can't. I learned it on the way up there. You did. I didn't you, think I was going to do it. Yeah. But I learned you, it on the way you up gave there. me a, your dad phoned me up and yeah. they said, "Can you tell Harry how to do it?" Yeah. Literally, and you learned it on the way up there, didn't you? Yeah. But that's because how clever and simple it is. And like you said, you know, you gave me so many tips on performing it, which you're covering a tutorial and things yeah. like that um, just on sort of really building on it and if you do get stuck then there's just so many little ways just get straight back on track again exactly and and no again that's about. all in the tutorial uh, yeah the, the more you do it the easier it gets as I say you just got to remember what to do mm. I mean I've done this you know, it's, it blows minds. It, oh, it, so it, it really does. You, you, and again, all the stories in there are true. Every page is different. It's fully example. It just fits in your pocket. For me, it ticks the boxes. I say, I like to create magic that I, I get more enjoyment out of you guys doing the magic. Mm. I mean, I like performing as well, but someone says, oh, I did your trick last week, went down yeah. the that really gets so cool, me. That, that so, yeah, that, that's what I work on. So, yeah, this is Lucky Numbers. I've created it. I've made it as best I can for you guys here. Mm. And I really think you're going to like it, as I say. You can read the stories. You can actually pick it up and read it as a book, can't you? Yes, you mm. can it actually just read. Like you can, if you normal. wanted to, you could just read the stories, what people have done with her. Like, you know, uh, Crystal here, Crystal Bennett, she won £18.6 million. So she decided to buy a piano, but not an all new piano, a crystal piano. And it was once by, owned by Elton John. And then uh, Antiques Teen had designed to get so a house. Cool, isn't it? Yeah, these are all sort of true stories. You know, Sassy Simon, he just liked his shoes. So he just bought like the dearest trainers in the world. So, I mean, you could probably do Harry, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. true. If I could, I would. <laughs> Out of space, Oscar, he won the lottery. And someone said, oh, do you know what you can do with that money? You can buy a piece of land on the moon. Great idea. Yeah, so he spent Did he do it? Yeah, he did, did it. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so mad, isn't it? It is so cool. Well, guys, I think let's drop the trailer for it. Uh, have a look at the trailer because then we can really talk more in depth about the book and if you guys have got any questions about it, things like that we can slowly answer them and things like that so can we drop the trailer anyone listening out there yes we can there I'm you gonna, go then right honestly I'm going to drop the trailer now so ladies and gentlemen 
Here's the trailer for Martin Pierce's Lucky Numbers. Hello and welcome to Martin Pierce's Lucky Numbers. Lucky Numbers is a book test built into an innocent looking lottery book that allows you to reveal loads of different things, including colors, numbers, the date this person won, if they're male or female, and even how much they won. Believe it or not, there's even more you can reveal with Lucky Numbers. We're gonna try something here. This is like a lottery book, all right? And it's a story, a book of stories about all different lottery winners, about okay. what they would spend their money on. So just what would you spend your money if you won the lottery? Uh, me. Would you? Nice, hey, good, I like it, right? Yeah. But each one of these tells you about this person. So this person, Alice Bishop, these were the numbers she won with. That's what she ended up doing. So that's like her story. Oh, okay. And it's a bit of like a story about her as well. Um, and it also says the date they won and things like that. Take a look through the book, make sure all the pages are different and the stories are different, the numbers are different and everything like that. Perfect, then yeah. close the book up and I think there's about 100 different stories in there. So just name a number between one and 100 and then turn to that page. 14. 14, one four. Yeah. Okay, right, turn to that page. Don't let, I'm gonna obviously turn around. Take a look at that page, open it up and that is obviously all one story, okay? Okay. So just think about the lowest number there, the lowest ball number. Yeah. Okay. Imagine now we've got a big sort of, you know, the big mixers, right? Yeah. The big mixers. That's going to be going around and it's going to roll out this first ball, the lowest number. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is uh, this is a white ball, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Is it? Yeah. yeah. White ball. You're going to pick it up. You're going to turn it around. You're going to see the number looking at you big and bold. This is number seven, isn't it? <gasps> number seven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now uh, go to the next lowest ball. So again, numerical low. It's going to roll at the machine now. This is a this is blue this time, isn't it? Yep. And just think of the first number. Don't tell me it's a two-digit number. Think of the first number for me. Don't say anything. Okay, that's coming through through quite strong. Is it repeated? Is it the same number twice? Yeah. Is it number eleven? Wow. Is it lovely? Yeah. Perfect. Now the next ball is going to roll at the machine now. This is a this is a pink ball, isn't it? Yep. This is number twenty, is it? Oh, stop! Is it lovely? Next ball's going to roll. It's another pink ball, isn't it? This yeah. is close to that number. Is it twenty-four? <gasps> How do you it? do this? Awesome. Next one's going to roll out now. This is is this another pink ball? Yep. Okay. This is is this number twenty-nine? Yep. Okay, and that leaves one more ball, right? It does. Okay. Imagine it's going to roll out the machine now. It's a, this is a green ball, isn't it? Yep. And this is number, oh, this is a tough one. Just pick it up again and look at it and just in your mind, just imagine drawing that number out for me. This is number 36, is it? Yes. Number 36, it was. <laughs> wow. Awesome. How much did they win? Five million, 500,000 pounds. <laughs> Usman Shah. Name on a check is Usman Shah. Yeah, I'm gonna one last reveal. The date on the check. Go on then. What's the date on the check? 19th of August 2001. The great thing about lucky numbers is the size. It will be perfect to carry around for walk around, but also stage and parlour. This book has got you covered. My name's Harry Nardi, and here at Alakazam, we are proud to present Lucky Numbers by Martin Pierce. That is wicked. There you go, we can hear a couple of Hey, thank you everyone, thank you everyone. <laughs> um, now, obviously guys, the product is now live on the site. You can head over to alexander.co.uk, uh, type in Lucky Numbers by Martin Pierce, um, and obviously the product will come up. And now's the time to ask, if you've got any questions, obviously there'll be no exposure, but uh, we can obviously Help answer your questions as much as we can, 100%. Now, this is so cool. You just showed me on the trailer was playing. This was the original <laughs> scrapbook. To this the is the, the original one. So as you can see, uh, the numbers are there. It's all cut out. It's like it's like a scrapbook. Uh, this was like day one. So yeah. this is all my fault because I went away from yeah. it and left you to your own yeah. devices. Because this was in my head for so long, I knew what I wanted to do, but it was just like finding the peace and quiet to do it without yeah. being disrespectful. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so Rob, Robin went away for a week. 
And so I thought, okay, I'm going to hit this and I'm going to hit this hard. And the thing is, I just loved it. I loved the whole process Mm. of putting it together and everything like that. It just really excited me. Uh, Yeah, it's just, I I probably got up about seven o'clock in the morning and I thought, I'll finish at a certain time. I can't finish on that page. I'll get one more page in. I I had that bug and I just didn't want to put it down. And it was literally going through to about two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it was literally a case of like, no, I'm enjoying this far too much. Uh, And uh, the only time I stopped was when I went out to do shows. That was it. (laughs) (laughs) I had a week of magic and it was was amazing. (laughs) But I was so pleased to have Robin back. Going away again soon, you can create something Yeah, something else now. Yeah, we have. But yeah, this is the original one. As you can see, it's scrapbook style. And then we put it into that there. And uh, yeah, all the bits and pieces are there. Nice. Uh, should we do a live performance? Let's go for yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, a live performance, and we can talk about the book. Yeah. Then that. yes, could you pass me the pen and the paper there? The, the cards. Thank you. So uh, again, this is Harry. Have a look through the book. It's about crazy people and the craziest thing they've done when they won the lottery. Uh, Robin, what would you do if you won the lottery? I would probably buy a cat sanctuary. Oh, okay. Because Quite an interesting fact. Do you know what I would do? I'll go out straight to the shop and buy an outfit just like Harry's. I'm just waiting for my three numbers to come in. <laughs> <laughs> so, Robin, give me any number between zero and nine. Which number would you like? Five. Number five? Uh, Harry, number between zero and nine, please. I'm going to go number one. Oh, because you are the number one person. Aye, that's what I was thinking, all right? So uh, you can either pay 51 or pay 15. Hold it up so I can't see it. Um, 15. Okay, turn to page 15, and there'll be a crazy story about a crazy person that's won the lottery on there. Yes. Are you on page 15? I am indeed, have, yep. a, have a look, the trivia story there. Uh, yep. The person that's won this amount of money, it's either a man or a woman. Is that right? It, yeah. I'm good at this, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> I do think we're looking at a woman here, is that right? We are, yeah. Hey! <laughs> I get that right 50% of the time. Uh, the thing is, uh, the, the six numbers that this woman won the lottery with should be on that page somewhere. Yeah, I can see it yeah, there, yeah. yeah. Could you find the lowest number ball for me? Yep. The lowest number. Look at the colour of that ball. And just plant it just there, Harry. Just just send it over. Just the colour, yeah? Yep. How did I do? <laughs> it was <laughs> white. It was white, yeah. It was yeah. white. <laughs> ha- have a look at the number in the middle of the ball. And I'll, I'll just... Okay. Yeah, it's just one digit I've got here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. What, what number have you got there? Eight. Yes, that's a good nice, start. Nice, uh, lovely. Number eight. Uh, have a look at the next highest number up ball there. Yep. And uh, send me a colour of that one. I'm not sure if it's if your t-shirt or not. I'm getting like a blue colour. Correct, yeah, yeah. yeah. And look at the number on that one. I think, is it like, that's two digits. Is it, is it number 14? It is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, have a look at the next highest one up. Yep. Yeah, look at the, yeah, concentrate on it. Is, is it a pink ball? It is, it yeah. It is, and two, two digits, one slightly higher than the other. Yeah. Is it 23? It is, yeah. But when you see me that pink ball, I've got more pink coming through. Is there, there's another pink ball on there, there isn't is there? There is another pink it's one, yeah. 29. Yep. Oh, dear, well, two more balls to go, though, is that right? Yep. Uh, yeah, have a look at the next highest one, like two to go. Uh, is there a green ball on there? Yeah, this yeah. one's green. One, yeah, yeah, again, one slightly higher than the other. It's number 34. Yep. Yeah, one ball to go for the full house. Yeah. Have a look at the colour of that one. Yeah, I'm getting like a yellow colour, is that right? Yep. Look at the two digits there, is it number 41? It is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have a look at the check. Wipe your finger over the check for me, Harry. I just touched my finger. Nothing to do with the trick, I just really like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have a look at the check details there. Yep. Uh, the amount this person won. I'm going to write a number down. And hopefully, hmm. yeah, just touch my finger again. Yeah, what was the amount they won there? Four million one hundred thousand. Yeah, I'll put four and put my million. That's nice. pretty much the same yeah. thing, isn't it? Nice. Yeah, uh, have a look at the name on the check. Is it Hazel? Is it Hazel Clifford? It is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the date she won it, I think. I'll write this down. Hopefully, I'll try and get this right as well. I think Hazel Clifford. She won it. Uh, yes, yeah. She had, a, she had a good Christmas, didn't she? <laughs> she did. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to go for that, I think. So I've written something down here. Could you tell everyone the date Hazel Clifford won £4.1 million? 3rd of December 2009. There we go. Boom, look at that. Nice. 
So that is wicked. You can do as much as you want to. You can just reveal That's the so colours if you want to. It's so good. Yeah, you can, you, you can just reveal the numbers. You can do as much as you want to, or as little as you want to. But yeah, you've got 16 uh, or 17 different reveals. It's and so good. Now, so I, go on. I, I was going to say, there's just a couple of questions that have come in that we're going to answer quickly. Yes. Um, so... Uh, Robert Six said, is this geared for the UK or is it international and works in the US as well? Now, what I would say to that is obviously it's using the, the UK number of lottery balls. But the idea is the book itself is designed in such a way that it looks like a, a book you would pick up from an airport or, you know, when you're traveling. It's just a fun little book. So, you know, it is very easy. Whenever we get things over here in the UK that are sort of more American-based or whatever, we just go, when I was over in America, I picked this up. Mm -hmm. It seemed like an interesting read. As I was jumping on the plane, I saw this in, the, in mm. WH Smith's. It was a little book of fun stories of people. So mm. it's very easy to, to sort of just say, I picked it up in the UK. And then that's it. You never have to repeat that again. Um, and it is, at the end of the day, it's a lottery book, and I know in the US I think there's a few more numbers, but apart from that, it's pretty much identical. It's not yeah. a book test as in, like, think of a word and everything. So that was one of the questions. The other question was, does the spectator have to um, call their page number out aloud? Now, usually when you would do this, you would have someone call the page number out and the other person turn to the page. But you don't have to have them call out a page number. Um, Martin, would you like to demonstrate yes. it the other way? There is another, another method in there as well. So I could say to someone, have a look through the book and name any story you want to. So Harry, just go through there and stop on any story you want to. Let's go for Super Yuri Super Yacht. So just by that bit of information, I can tell 16 different reveals straight away. Nice. I, I can tell, obviously, it's a man that's won it because his yep. name is Yuri. Uh, the lowest number there is 25. Yeah. That, that, and again, that's a pink ball. Yeah. And you've got another pink ball, which is 29. Yeah. And then you've got green 38, yep. yellow 42, yep. yellow 47, yep. and, and green 54. Yeah. And he won nice. 20.9 million pounds, Yuri Carlson, yep. on the 3rd of January <laughs> <Is> <laughs> 2018. It is, 3rd of January 2018. And he bought a super yacht because he, he had a certain amount of money. Oh, I forgot to tell you about Hazel Clifford. Hazel Clifford was a great story. When she won the money, she was so fed up with her neighbours, like watching telly late at night and their cats messing on their lawns. So and when she won the lottery, she bought all the houses down the road. She she lived in a house with five uh, five houses down it, and she bought the other four houses of the people there. So she never had troubles with neighbours ever, ever again. Another great That's story. Crazy, that is cool. <laughs> now, uh, what I love about this is the fact that you were talking about the page number and stuff like that, but... Right. So the uh, yeah, with the page number thing again in Blackpool, I was performing, and obviously this was to magicians, so they're going to be looking out for stuff laymen wouldn't normally look out for. But uh, I'll go. So it's random. Just name any page number uh, sixteen. All right. Now you sir, turn to page sixteen or whatever. And so it's such a throwaway comment, isn't it? But so they don't turn to like, their favourite page or whatever. Uh, it's just really really cool. Let me. Is it in there? Yep. Perfect. Yeah, and also uh, an, another way of doing it as well. Uh, on the inside cover, like the contents page, yeah. uh, enough way to do it for two people, you've got categories. So you've got crazy, nice. health and beauty, sport and hobbies. So I could say to Robin, give me one of those categories. Say she said hobbies. I'd say, Harry, under the hobbies section, we've got like five stories there. Choose any one of those stories. And as soon as they choose, me, tell me like the headline, I can get, I know all those bits of information. I can reveal them as quickly as I want slowly as I want, I can mind read what I want, I can nice. do exactly what I want to do there. So there's lots of different ways to get your bit of information. My favourite way is, as I say, I'll get Robin's name a page and then you mm -hmm. name a page and you make the final choice. But if you don't want to do it that way, you can literally flick through the book uh, and say, they stop on, I don't know, there we go, the Primrose Express. Nice. As soon as they say the Primrose Express, boom, I'm there. Wicked. Now, obviously, you can uh, do it loads of different ways. If you've got like mental dice and things like that, obviously, you can get them to roll a dice to determine a page number. 
uh, whatever you want to do. But um, yeah, I found whenever I've done it, getting someone to name a page number and then the other person turning to it really doesn't make a difference. I think especially if you've got two people, get the one who's not holding a book to name the page number and then even then it's more of a throwaway comment. You actually um, passed this around on a train the yes. other day to all different yeah. I was people. Doing, I was doing a gig in London. Oh, really? uh, I took my little case and the, the, or, probably about 14 drunken northerners on there. Yeah. Oh, what's in the case? What's in the case? Yeah. I said, I'll show you what's in the case. Yeah. I, I'm a magician. And they go on then, show me a bit of magic. So I pulled this out and I said, chose to someone, that, have a look through the book, you know, uh, what would you do if you won the lottery? Had a few, lots, lots of banter going on. They had a yeah. few drinks, but they were lovely, lovely yeah. people. Uh, and I just said to the first person, uh, look at the lowest number ball there, look at the colour of it. And I said, you're, look, you're looking at a pet, I'm getting pink, is it pink? And he, and he was like, what, what, yeah. what? And they was looking behind him like, oh. I said, you're too easy to read. Pass it on to the next people. Nice. So this book went down the carriage to like the six people on it, and then it went back with the six numbers, That's then it went sick. back with a check. Honestly, it totally freaks them out. But the most important thing of all, I'm not there to freak people out. They absolutely had a ball. They were entertained, yeah. they had an amazing time. And they were high-fived me and shook me hand nice. and things like that. Uh, yeah, all, all from this. and. Uh, Obviously, you guys probably know what the price of this is now. A book test usually is, is going to be approaching £200. Yeah. And they're not fully examinable. This one is fully examinable. Yeah. It's a quarter of that price. And for me, you're getting so, so many reveals. Different reveals as well. It's, it's uh, so you were good. You really adamant. You I was it to be adamant, accessible. yeah. I wanted this to be accessible because usually a £200 book, mm. uh, the hobbyists, stroke semi professional wouldn't go near it yeah saying i won't use it so i said to peter let's make it an affordable price yeah uh let's get the people who want to be a mentalist let's yep. get them out there let them enjoy it let mm. them have a go so it's priced now where sort of the hobbyists can have a go and they will enjoy it and they're, they're progress from it as well i think nice. Do you know what i like a bit of mentalism exactly and, and they can go to the next thing and they can get the next martin pierce product or whatever exactly <laughs> now the other thing i like about it as well and you mentioned it at the start is that because it is a fun book you can perform it in a fun bubbly way but also obviously you can do a serious one Heavy, yeah with a normal book test obviously there are like comedy book tests out there but this one is so versatile depends on your audience you know, um, and I just love the fact it's different reveals. You know, you get to pick your colours, and it sounds so stupid, but the like the uh, lottery balls, they can imagine that they can't really picture a word. Even though book tests are good, I'm not saying they're not good. They are really good. Yes, I but I like the fact that they can imagine the big machine rolling out and a colour ball rolling out. Now they yeah. can picture that. Then they can picture picking it up and have a look at the number. Yes. It's so visual, you know. So it's really you can sort of play with their mind. It's awesome. Yeah, no, it's exciting. I say it's like, it's like a for me, it's like a sexy little book, and it mm. does the job. It is a sexy little book, Martin. You are right. <laughs> <laughs> you are absolutely right. I live there. a sad life, I'm afraid. <laughs> yes, yes. As far as sexy books go, that's yeah, mine. Right? That, that, that is to say, and it just fits in your pocket. You can pull it out at a minute's notice. It looks like something you bought from WH Smith for a fiver, yep. and uh, yeah. And the other, yeah, the other thing as well is, I mean, the handing it round thing is really, really cool. Um, we wanted, well, you wanted to make it sure it was this size, so that you can do if you're performing at tables, walk around or this. You're not carrying around a big book; it will literally just fit in there or in your outside pocket. So easy to carry around. Um, but also, this again is like a no-brainer. Where if it gets to the end of the event, uh, and they say, "Oh, can you just do something to the whole room? Get yeah. someone up on there, you oh, know, definitely. and you can just it can play so big." Yeah, it definitely can be done for a stage. Then you can literally mm. get people up on stage, pass it to the first person, pass it to the next person. Yeah, and then j just carry on like that. As I say in that situation, I probably just reveal the six balls. If I reveal the six ball, everyone's going to go crazy. Build it up, build it up, and then I'll probably say the last one. Is it forty eight? Is it forty nine? Say forty eight. Say forty nine. Nice. And then just sort of, you know, I'm picking up on something there, and you know, is it forty nine? I say yes. I go, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, wicked. So uh, uh, it's, it's so clever. Well, have you got any questions coming in? Uh, we've got a few actually that we're going to. Um, just answer. So someone said, is it uh, good for a beginner? It certainly is. There's no sleight of hand. Once you know the method, any level of magician can do it. Um, yeah, totally agree with that. Uh, again, that for a beginner, your confidence levels will soar because you, mm. you're going to get the reactions that you want from uh, your audience. So you're going to perform it and your confidence is going to you know, yeah. build and build. And then you're going to sort of build your own act, build your own personality and, and take it from then. So, mm -hmm. yes, again, if, if for the beginner wouldn't dream of paying £200 for a book test, mm -hmm. 
for this, you're getting so much for your money. Also, yeah. I do just want to say, talking about that, the good thing with this as well, a lot of mentorism stuff can be quite daunting because you have to do fishing. And if you're not confident in it, it can be a bit awkward. Whereas this, it's a surefire method. So there is absolutely no fishing. You just follow the sequence and you're sorted. And the sequence is very easy. So you literally just in your head go from this to this to this to this. It's so straightforward. So yeah, from a beginner, it is perfect. There's yes. no awkward, I'm, I'm propless mentalism. I help all the time with Martin. I yeah. can get stuff done. And I can follow that. Yeah. I can follow enough to do some of the routines and that in nice. there. Which for me, I'm not a maths person. I'm yeah. not, I don't do anything like that. But I can do that. Nice. Good. So yeah, and there you go. Prime example, right? Yeah. There, yeah. there was another question. Um, would this need to be performed on a very regular basis in order to keep tip top with the method? Now, the basic method, depending how much you want to reveal, no. If you want to go in and just reveal the lottery numbers, I don't think you have to do that regularly. If you want to start doing the extra stuff, like just having them name a name and giving them all the information, then yes, you want to spend a bit of time on it. Again, but, that, that's only a little bit of work. You, yeah. you will find with the book, it's got 100 stories in it, uh, they will pick the same you know, six or seven stories because mm. for some reason those headlines jump out of you. Uh, yeah, the more you perform it, the more confident you get, the more you reveal. But nobody's expecting you to reveal absolutely everything. You can just reveal colours and blow them away. You can reveal numbers and blow them away. There's also a crib on the back if need be. Yes, there is. Yes, a, a little bit of a clue at the back if you ever get stuck. Yeah. And it's a, a prompt, isn't it? It, it, yeah. that's a, that's the ideal word. Yeah. And again, when I perform it, once you learn the method, you'll see the reason why I always write down the first number. Mm. Yeah. So that's. Just for my own benefit, I know I'll never need it again, but when you find out the method, you write that first number down, so if you ever lose track or people are having too much of a laugh too much, you think, oh, hold on a minute. So, yeah, but the first bit of information leads to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, nice. and, re and, re and reveals to it all. Yeah, but you will I'm be able to deal with all of it, I promise. Okay, I think there might be a message to you on the screen. Did the messages come up on the screen, Harry? We can't see the screen. Oh, well, corner, have, a, have a little look round the corner. Dad, where is my food? <laughs> says, Dad, where is my food? I'm hungry. Explanation mark. Oh, that's that's so horror. Uh, mini, mini magician. Oh, did you did you not feed her? I left the chip pan ready for her to use. So oh, so she'll be fine. Okay then. <laughs> my gosh. Do you know what? I feel your pain as well. I didn't get Nando's, but I think I um, had my choice. The Bless the her. other thing is as well. Have we mentioned that for when you're um, getting into it and getting started with it? There is a crib actually built in to the back of the book. Yes, yeah, yeah we well. just mentioned the yeah, air. It, it's more of a prompt. Obviously, if you hold that, you guys won't be able to see anything. But unless you know what you're looking for, it's, it is a prompt. If you ever get stuck, it will get, get you out of trouble. Uh, but you won't need to, honestly. It's so, when I think about it, honestly, 16 reveals, it is so simple. Now, I will just say, when I perform this, I, I will do the colours of the um, lottery balls, I'll do the numbers, I'll do male or female, and I'll do when they, um, how much they won. That, for me, is perfect. But the fact you can do even more than that if you is want insane. To. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, honestly, once you start performing it, you'll see just reaction. As soon as you get that first ball, that they start looking around and mm. going, no, no. I mean, yeah. we did it earlier on with Loki this afternoon, and he was like, he, he, after three numbers, he thought that was it. I said, no, I'm, I'm still yeah. warming up. Yeah, <laughs> it's said, so I'm, good. I'm just getting going. He's going, yeah. oh, go on then. And you it, cannot see how this is done, no. can you? I mean, you gave this book out to Wayne Goodman, Craig Petty. You, you guys yeah. had no, it for never, a few weeks. No, never work out. And you could not. Even at lectures, I've been performing this at the end of lectures, and they say, uh, can we have a look at the book? And they, they will expect me to say no. I said, yeah, I'll pick up at the end. And they're leaving the book and they're There's looking at it. No, you just cannot work anything out. It is so clever. And it's so simple but strong. And the other thing I like about it is that when it comes to like maybe getting more confidence in mentalism, or even if you are like a full-on mentalist, you never get a no in this book. That's what's important. You know, yeah, when you're revealing, you, you never get a no. Hit, yeah, yeah, it's just constant, just a, a rolling like snowball of just... Yes, oh my God, yes, blah, blah, blah. you know, you never get a, a hit back or a miss or anything like that. But if for any reason you get the number slightly wrong or things like that, it's so easy to get back on track. Like, it's not like once you're going down the wrong route, that's it, you're screwed. Oh, no, no, way. no. Literally, no. just not that you would get it wrong, but if yeah. you said the wrong number, it's so easy just to think, actually, no, it's that one. And then for them, it's even stronger. You think, 
oh no, I mustn't have been thinking about it properly. Let me think about the ball. Yeah, again. And, and I, it's true though. And I, if it, I don't say if I do get it wrong, I always say that's your fault. You were thinking of thirty nine, and you told me that it was yeah. actually thirty eight. You were tricking me. Exactly. I, and they always play along with it. They yeah. go, I was, and yeah. the people go, oh blimey. Yeah. So you, you've got that extra hit as well, just by saying sort of saying hundred percent something but simple like that. It is. Yeah, it is so good. Every bit of it is just yeah genius, and I love the look of it. Good size as well. It's just a great, honestly, it's a great prop. Let us know if anyone's picked one up as well. Uh, a few people have picked one up. Just want to let everyone know that if they go onto our website, the big banner as soon as you load the website up is not on the app at the moment. The product is, but the uh, banner is, and it will be on the app tonight. But it's on the website. It's the main banner that comes up. Um, I think we're actually going to drop the trailer again because a lot of people um, are joining us but quite late. Nice. Um, and yeah, Darren Rotherham said, you know, if you're worried about someone calling out the page number, just use a peak wallet. But honestly, you're, you're running without being chased. Yeah. You know, getting someone to name a number of a page is, is nothing. It's a way of being random. So you get someone just say look name any page number from 1 to 168 turn to page 68 for me that's not even my choice now that seems even fairer mm. than them just picking one maybe everyone picks the same page we're going to get someone yeah. else to choose it so, so <coughs> and that will be forgotten by the time you're into oh, the first would, and, and again you can literally page 68 you're happy there do you want to go one forward or one backwards mm -hmm. and just by doing that, you can see which way they've gone. So you know the numbers like yeah. sixty-six or seventy. Have a yeah. look at that. Are you happy with that one? Do you want to go one forward? Mm -hmm. We'll go one backwards. Just, just simple things like that. Again, you're not being chased. So yeah, you don't, don't it's, need to. It's do. worth reiterating as well the fact that everything is different in this book. Yeah. Like it, it, it doesn't matter what that page number is. There's no connection to anything that's being revealed because literally every single page is different. There's nothing that's repeated at yeah. all in this book. And I. Um, I, I said this on the live today. I mean, I, I love book tests. I've got quite a few book tests. And the amount of book tests, when I've read the description, examinable, examinable, examinable. Yeah, yeah. I get the book, I open it, within two minutes I know what the method is. <laughs> I, and there was one recently that said, you know, examinable. Even on the trailer, I went, well, that's repeated. I've just seen that <laughs> as, it, as it's flicked past. I've just seen it on every page. Yeah. With, with this... I mean, it literally is. Every page is different. No set of numbers are the same. None. You know, obviously certain numbers are going to be repeated. You've got 100 pages, six numbers per page, and there's only 50 mm. odd balls. So numbers are going to be repeated. But no sequence of numbers yeah. are repeated. No stories repeated. Um, it's not a, a Moab where you know the same things are repeated on every page so it's um you yeah. could literally i know that martin gave wayne goodman a copy of this and this was before we had put the instructions up so wayne had this in his possession for a month and i said to him look the instructions will be up soon he said oh don't worry i'll work it out three weeks later he said look you know i, I ain't got a clue <laughs> when are those instructions going live no. so it it is really really good so um, let me just have a look here. It's um, it awesome. Here you go, Adam Oakley. I sat in for a night and could do it. It's very nice and simple to do. Uh, or if you just sit there and do it for a while, you'll amuse yourself how easy it is. Uh, Harry learned it in a, a journey to Blackpool. He did. Yeah. 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 And that was with Mum's driving, so I had to cling on with one hand, <laughs> and I was looking at it with the other. Yeah. No offence, Mother. No yeah, way. as I say, and the reveals are exciting. You're not saying, oh, look at the third word down on the left-hand column, yeah. uh, you know, does the word begin with a consonant or a vowel? You're, exactly. lit you're literally, like, revealing some colourful, exciting things here. No yeah. weird anagrams. And I'll tell you what else is good, in lighting situations, because there's so many reveals, Obviously, if the lighting isn't great, but you still want to perform this, the numbers on the balls are so clear. Yeah, they're vivid. You know, they're always going to be able to do something, you know, um, which is just good because you always get something that you absolutely love performing, but sometimes the environment prohibits you from doing it. Whereas Greece. this one, no matter yeah. where you're performing it, it's killer. It's yeah, so and yeah. because there are so many reveals as well, you can get so many people involved. You don't have to do the reveals with one person. 
So you could get a whole group of people involved uh, in this. Tony Hawkins said uh, he bought this at the Blackpool Magic uh, Convention. That was the first thing Friday morning after seeing Martin demo it. Um, this is one of, if not the best mentalism items he uses. Yeah, Tony's a lovely fella. He's quite famous. Do you know Tony Hawkins? I don't mind me saying he was on Come Dine with me a couple of weeks yes, ago. Yes, he was. I saw that. He was. He was very entertaining. Tony's yeah. a lovely bloke. Uh, I did a lecture at Norwich, uh, and again I handed the book out to the guys. I performed it for Tony. Tony was a lovely man. He came up. We had a good old chat about mentalism, uh, methods, and things like that. Yeah, full respect to Tony. He's a great tarot reader as well. So yeah, I'm glad he's. I'm glad he's liking it. So yeah, full respect to Tony. Cool. 100%. We've got the lovely Tracy Gillingham joining us. <laughs> said amazing <laughs> trick, Martin. Completely mind blowing. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, oh. Lovely. Um, uh, what was I? Uh, yeah, Paul said also uh, there is no forcing, it's all completely random. It's a definite winner. Lovely. Um, yep. A few people are asking if there's going to be an after show. There's no after show tonight because without the book in your hand, it, it's sort of pointless. But on the instructional video, we've broken down everything in easy to follow sequences and chunks for you. So once you've got the book and you watch the tutorial, you'll pick it up pretty quickly. And like anything um, that's similar to this, the way I suggest it is, is to concentrate on one part first. And that's the way Harry learned it as well. Mm -hmm. He learned the, the ball and the number reveal first, then he moved on to learning the check and everything else. Did you, you did the check and the date and everything, didn't you, Martin? Yeah, yeah, done the check and date and performance, uh -huh. yeah. So, cool. uh, yeah, uh, but have I'm, we I'm dropped the trailer again? Am I forgetting? We yeah. didn't drop the trailer, we was going to, but we haven't yet. Right, so should we drop it and then come back? Yeah, yeah go for cool. it. Okay, here we go. Here's the trailer for Lucky Numbers. Hello and welcome to Martin Pierce's Lucky Numbers. Lucky Numbers is a book test built into an innocent looking lottery book that allows you to reveal loads of different things, including colors, numbers, the date this person won, if they're male or female, and even how much they won. Believe it or not, there's even more you can reveal with Lucky Numbers. We're going to try something here. This is like a lottery book, all right? And it's a story, a book of stories about all different lottery winners, about okay. what they would spend their money on. So just what would you spend your money if you won the lottery? Uh, me. Would you? Nice. Hey, good. I like it, right? Yeah. But each one of these tells you about this person. So this person, Alice Bishop, these were the numbers she won with. That's what she ended up doing. So that's like her story. Oh, okay. And it's a bit of like a story about her as well. Um, and it also says the date they won and things like that. Take a look through the book, make sure all the pages are different and the stories are different, the numbers are different and everything like that. Perfect, then yeah. close the book up and I think there's about 100 different stories in there. So just name a number between one and 100 and then turn to that page. 14. 14, one, four. Yeah. Okay, right, turn to that page. Don't let, I'm gonna obviously turn around. Take a look at that page, open it up. And that is obviously all one story, okay? Okay. So just think about the lowest number there, the lowest ball number. Yeah. Okay. Imagine now we've got a big sort of, you know, the big mixers, right? Yeah. The big mixers. That's going to be going around and it's going to roll out this first ball, the lowest number. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is uh, this is a white ball, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Is it? Yeah. yeah. White ball. You're going to pick it up. You're going to turn it around. You're going to see the number looking at you big and bold. This is number seven, isn't it? <gasps> number seven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now uh, go to the next lowest ball. So again, numerical low. It's going to roll at the machine now. This is a this is blue this time, isn't it? Yep. And just think of the first number. Don't tell me it's a two-digit number. Think of the first number for me. Don't say anything. Okay, that's coming through through quite strong. Is it repeated? Is it the same number twice? Yes. Is it number eleven? Wow. Is it lovely? Yeah. Perfect. Now the next ball is going to roll at the machine now. This is a this is a pink ball, isn't it? Yep. This is number twenty, is it? Oh, stop! Is it? Lovely. Next ball's going to roll. This is another pink ball, isn't it? This yep. is close to that number. Is it twenty-four? <gasps> How Was do it? you do this? Awesome. Next one's going to roll out now. This is is this another pink ball? Yep. Okay. This is is this number twenty-nine? Yep. Okay, and that leaves one more ball, right? It does. Okay. Imagine 
It's going to roll out the machine now. It's a... This is a green ball, isn't it? Yep. And this is number... Oh, this is a tough one. Just pick it up again and look at it and just in your mind, just imagine drawing that number out for me. This is number... 36, is it? Yes. Number 36, it was. <laughs> wow. Awesome. How much did they win? Five million five hundred thousand pounds. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Usman Shah. Name on the check is Usman Shah. Yeah, I'm gonna one last reveal. The date on the check. Go on then. What's the date on the check? 19th of August 2001. <laughs> the great thing about lucky numbers is the size. It will be perfect to carry around for walk around, but also stage and parlour. This book has got you covered. My name's Harry Nardi, and here at Alakazam, we are proud to present Lucky Numbers by Martin Pierce. Honestly, that is so good. It's such a good bit of kit. I just want to give a few shout outs. Chris, Norman, Jersey, Paul, uh, Tony, loads of you picking it up. Walter. Uh, Walter, yes, I forgot, why was the one at the top? Uh, Walter, yeah, absolutely. Thank you everyone for picking up Lucky Numbers. I know there's a few others of you out there who have grabbed it, uh, but I just didn't get to see your name quickly when I was having a look. So thank you everyone who's picked it up. Uh, yeah, you are gonna absolutely love it. Um, so, yeah. Just wanna say, Dean James has said, uh, just came in late, can this be used as a memory effect? 100%. Oh yes, you 100%. can say, I'm so obsessed with the lottery. I bought this book all about the lottery, crazy people, crazy stories. Uh, I've actually memorised a whole lot. Mm. And believe it or not, to do it, you don't have to memorise a whole lot, but you can yeah. actually say, so I've, I've memorised everything about this book. Yeah. It's so clever, I know. Yeah. Should, we do a, should we do another performance? Yeah. I can just imagine, though, doing it on stage or something. Just got six mini whiteboards or whatever. And you just yes. say, everyone, right, you think of the lowest number, you think of the second lowest, but yeah, yeah, each yeah. guy. I mean, you just go, right, I'm going to write, draw a ball. And yeah. I reckon you've got a green ball. I'm not too sure, a number. And then hold it there, but don't look at it yet. And then say your number out loud. And then they all say it, and it's match, 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 match. Yeah. yeah. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Just One of my closest that. friends, Michael, he does it with the big flip chart. How oh, does he? Oh, wicked. He's kind of mind nice. reading the whole time. And yeah, and again. Doing it out, doing it again. It's he so makes good. a really big stage act of it. Thing is, people still believe in mind read that honestly they really think you can read mind. So really yeah. play on it. Don't rush over it. Really get them to imagine the ball rolling out, looking at the colour, turning it around, seeing the number. Oh no, you got it upside down. Blah, blah, blah. Do you know what I mean? Do all that stuff because they really do buy it. They're not obviously silly, but when you just get them to picture it, they really you, think. You is mate, it real? Yeah. Is it not real mind yeah. reading? They're not too sure. Um, right. Should we do one more live? Yeah. Pass the book over, Robin. Yeah. Right, again, this will be my performance. Uh, again, you can use your own jokes, but we won't use a joke about my three numbers and Harry's outfit because he got quite offended by that one. Well, there. I did actually, right? At least two. So, give, Robin, give me a number between zero and nine. Four. Four. Uh, Harry, zero and... Mm, five. 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 Turn to page 45 or 54. Could you pass me a pen and paper? Thank you so much. And there should be a, a crazy story about a crazy person that's won the lottery yes, on there. One. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stand yeah, up if you over stand here there, so they can see it. And I can't actually see because there's no other cameras yeah, in no, here like the other one. So, uh, All right, yeah. I'm on it. Yeah, so this is a story about someone who's won the lottery, uh, something they've done quite crazy with it. Yeah. Uh, this person is either a male or a female. Yeah. And I'll get this right 50% of the time. I think we're looking at, uh, I think we're looking at a male this we time. We are indeed, yeah. yeah. And obviously there's six lucky numbers there. Yeah. Uh, have a look at the colour of, of, of the lowest ball to start with. So you've got six balls on the lowest number there. Uh, look at the colour of that one. I think we've got quite lucky again. It's not always white. But it's it is white, white yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I want you to imagine turning that ball towards you and looking at that number. Yep. Yeah, so there is there is a number there. I think it's quite a low number. It is, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. What's the number you've got there, please, Harry? Number two. Yeah, and again, I would show like the, nice, the, the, lovely. the number two. Yep. But when you sent me that white ball, I actually got some more white coming through. Yep. Is there another white ball there? There is. Yeah, is it like 
oh, it's not a nine. It's a nine upside down. Is it number six? It is, yeah. It is. And then, now, can I just say, there's obviously no screen in there, right? I've stood up here because the screen's right there, so I need to see it's on, but you can't yeah, see that. Yeah, this is uh, a new studio. I thought you, when I did live this afternoon, it was right in front of me. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I've got, I've got no, no clues here. Uh, have a look there. Again, I'm getting a blue blue from your T-shirt, but I think there's a blue born there as well. Yeah. Is it number 15? It is, yeah. And there's blue number 19. Yeah. Yeah, and then we got like, uh, is it a pink ball, number 24? Yeah. And we've got one more ball to go for the full house. Yeah. Is it is it green? It is green. It is. Look at the two numbers on there. I'm getting like two odd numbers, not two even numbers, two odd numbers. Yeah. Uh, one slightly bigger than the other. Is it number 31? It is number 31, yeah. yeah. And again, I'll get them to wipe their finger over this check if you want to, but yeah. I don't need to. Uh, we're looking at someone who's won just over £3 million. Pounds. Is it £3.4 million? Pounds? It is indeed, yeah. Is, is it Ben Ahmed? It is. Yeah, and I think, I think he won it on the 1st of September. And I'm tr trying to get the year. Is it like 2013? First of August, twenty thirteen. Oh, sorry, first of August. Yes, yeah, so yeah. Of August, Close to eight. That's good. <laughs> nice. Close to the thirteen. Yeah. Wicked. It's so good, isn't it? It's so clever. Honestly, look how many reveals from that. I mean, that is just just from one and then throw away bit of information. Let me, yeah. Let me show you here as well. Look, I'm literally flicking for every page. So look at the numbers, right? So you got two pink balls on that page. Yeah, you can actually just say you, well, you know, how many odd yeah. numbers on there, how many even numbers on exactly. there. Exactly. There you go. Look. I was just showing you there's no sequences, but I just got three in a row with the two pink. But they're all different, as you can see. There's no like certain number on a page or this or that. It's so all the check numbers are different. It's just there's nothing repeated. No, and that was the labour of love. That's what I've had to put up with. Yeah, it's just for the, for the past few years of him getting this absolutely perfect. It's just so I, good. As people who've got my stuff know, I like to sort of. Make it pretty you foolproof. Were infuriating with it to get yeah. it absolutely right. And it yeah, looks they needed it. Yeah, and it looked I mean you can see the effort and the time it's gone into it, you know, all the images are good, the colours pop, you know, there's no it's just it is just brilliant, you know. And if you were to buy a book like this, this is what it would look like. You know, it looks yeah, oh, yeah. so if you, authentic. If you went to WH Smith or a train station or an airport, yeah, uh, something to read on the plane or something like that, you you pick that up for like four ninety nine. Definitely. And and you can just, just hand that around and say that you can go to the inside page, the contents page, get anyone to choose a story from there. Yeah. Or just, you know, read out anything from Jewelry Jane. So if I said to you, have a look at Jewelry Jane, just show it to the camera there. Yeah. Uh, and I could say, oh, Jewelry Jane, yeah, obviously she's a woman. Yeah. And uh, yeah, have a look through the balls. You could say, oh, I've got, I'm getting like a blue ball. Is it number 10? Yeah. And then number 16. Nice. And then you can go, oh, I've got, I've got a feeling there's like, oh, is it like a pink ball, 25? Yeah. And then you, oh, and then you can just go on like that, 30, nice. 31, it's 36, just, 43, yeah. It's so good. It's literally, it's brilliant. It's so good. and. I can't wait to see the performance ideas you guys have with this. I really think you're going to yes. have a lot oh, of fun with it. There is a Facebook page as well. I forgot to mention that. So there you go. Yeah, I've, I've put a few ideas on there for you. So if anyone has it, got it, uh, thinks, oh, I've put this idea on it, please put it in the Facebook page. We'll share it about. Or if you need help with it, just say, I've bought this book. Uh, how someone actually put on there, how would you get that first bit of information like a couple of people booked tonight? Yeah. Don't, don't worry about it. Just... You know, you've got to start from somewhere. You can literally say to someone, you know, have a bit of fun, give me a number between 0 and 9, give me a number yep. 0 and 9, 39. Do you want 39 or 93? Uh, give it to someone else to turn that page. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to worry about. No. As I say, you don't need... It's so good. If you don't worry about it, they won't worry about it. Exactly. Simple as that. If you okay. um and are about it, oh... No, you're, you're having fun with it. You're getting everyone on your side. They're literally yep. like, OK, turn to page 39. Uh, have a look at the story there, you know, quite yeah. a interesting story, and you can go bang and just like. And the thing is, the page number, like, it's not as if it's just it's not as if they turn to that page and then that's the first number. No, you know no, what I mean? No, it's no, it's no, nothing no. like that. So there's no correlation whatsoever. You know, um, like if you say number seven, they go, oh, the lowest ball was seven, right? And it's like, no, that's not what it is. You know, so it's so good. Yeah. It's so brilliant. if you turn to page, let's say page eighty, just turn to page eighty in a book. Uh, I can tell you the first number there yeah. is going to be like the lowest number there is number fifteen, isn't Correct. it? And it's a yeah. woman. Yeah. Uh, so it's got it, no correlation. No, you can you can literally like why is fifteen related to yeah. eighty? It's yeah. Impossible. There's no yeah. So I mean, it is just it's absolutely brilliant. But uh, guys, like I said, this is released now. Uh, it's so good. It's so simple. If you've never done mentalism before, it's such a good one to start with because you can have fun with colours, play it bigger. You know, really build on your presentation. Um, Think about stuff, and I know it sounds stupid, but if they're if you if you know 
they're thinking of a green ball, really say, can you picture something that's this colour? And then they'll obviously think yeah. of grass, but really just yeah. play on it. It really makes a difference when performing, honestly. Don't feel like you're going over the top because you can't go over the top. No, you know, you because can't go over the what top. you are producing from like that tiny bit of information is yeah. an absolute miracle, really, exactly. isn't it? And I like it if someone's wearing that colour top, then like you said with the yeah. blue, I said, I'm getting a lot of blue. I'm not sure if it's the wallpaper, your T-shirt, anyway, yeah. but I'm going to take a chance of blue. Exactly. And again, it don't come across like a know it all you if you like, you know, mm. let's have fun with it, like be bouncy, be like excited exactly. with it. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. Well, well guys, this so is nearly the end of the live. Go on. Um there's a few things here as well. One of the things oh, we were gonna get you to read out one of the stories in a moment, oh, just yes. so you can hear how funny they are. But there's a few questions uh, that have come in. So Paul Coombs is challenging you live. He wants to pick a number online a yes. page number uh, okay so say paul, paul coombs is a member of my magic club right and he's actually the close-up champion of northamptonshire magic club wow the, the great coombsini and he's also the close-up champion of the merlin magic society oh, wow. there you go. he is on a roll and i do believe he's going to be the chairman of the mystic ring very soon oh cool. so, uh, so yeah yeah if Paul's, Paul, if you're still watching, give us a page yeah, number and page we'll challenge number. Martin live. Uh, there was another few questions come in. Yeah. Um, so Darren Rotherham said, could you have six people say at a table, think of, think of a number and close the book? You could, if they turn to the page and they each thought of a number, yes, you yes, can reveal those numbers. Yes. They don't have to be holding the book, but they have to have the numbers in their mind. Um, then he said, could four spectators think of a lottery ball number on a page and you just reveal those four numbers? Remember, you're getting six balls, so you're not going to know what four they're thinking of um, unless you scripted something. Unless you forget say, the you lowest think of the number, lowest forget ball. the highest number. Why don't you pick the, the, you know, the second in the sequence, you the third, you the fourth, yes. and now you can. Or, alternatively... You could say, look, there's four of you here. There's six numbers on there. Forget the lowest, forget the highest. Each yeah. of you think of a different one in the middle. Have you got one? Yeah. Okay, I'm getting a pink ball. One of you's thinking of a pink ball. Who's that? That's you. Nice. That's number so-and-so. Who's thinking of the blue ball? That will be you. That's so, so yeah, you could easily Yes, um, you could adapt that. Do that. Yeah, it's good thinking, yeah. <clears throat> um, so you've got... Oh, Paul's challenged you. So, Harry, up you get with the book. <laughs> Oh. And we're going to page 28. Okie kokie. I'm, I'm upset I can't do my white joke. Are you thinking of a colour with a white joke? Bearing in mind, obviously, you cannot see anything. I can't see anything at all, actually. I can see the beautiful Robin next to me. Though. <laughs> uh, so page 28 is either a male or a female yeah i think we're looking at a female this time we are indeed is that right uh, and uh, yeah send the lowest color ball over to me and again i think it's from your top i'm getting like a blue ball is it yep is it number is it number 14 it is the indeed one number four yeah and then go to the next highest one up that's not a blue ball though is it it's like a pink ball yeah is it number 20 it is and there's a lot of pink coming through a lot of pink coming from that side of the room is it number 29 next? it is yeah and then we got like green 35 yeah yeah and then we got all oh, is it yellow 40 it is and then we've got one more to go is it is it yellow 47 it is indeed and we're yep. looking at uh the check of 28.7 million no pounds. way yeah bang on is that fancy nancy davenport it is fancy nancy <laughs> and Boom. she won it uh she did win it long ago actually she won it on the 4th of january i think it was only a couple of years ago was it like uh 2022 it is bang on look at <laughs> that superb yeah and she spent her money on i think it was like a russian walking stick she's like she spent uh, just got like a, a, a should a we really read old... it aloud yeah yeah okay, do. the yeah. oldest ever lottery win winner was announced in 2022 when former nhs nurse nancy davenport yet claimed the prize the 98-year-old from Yorkshire was delighted and said she was now joining Tinder, uh, where she'll be searching for a toy boy who can do the cooking as well. Uh, her first of many impulse buys was a uh, Fabergé Imperial Eagle Russian Silver uh, seraph Seraphonite? Yeah, something like that, yeah. yeah. Emerald Cane Walking Stick. Yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah, this hand-carved beauty costs in excess of over £50,000 and earned the nickname of Fancy Nancy. Miss Davenport loved this uh, moniker. 
yeah. so much. Yeah, uh, Fancy Nancy, the name Fancy Nancy. So you like the Fancy Nancy Monica so much, yeah. Yeah, uh, she insisted on everyone calling her by this uh, and had her name changed by Deepole. So she's actually Fancy Nancy Davenport. Oh, one thing cool I've got to say, yeah. Uh, I found out I had a bit of space on this side here. So I just wrote like, uh, I went on and found all the interesting facts in, uh, let me show you an interesting fact. So I don't know if you can see on this side of the room. Uh, nice, yeah. Pop Queen Madonna once won 120,000 pounds on the National Lottery. Nice. So all these, all these facts are here. She needed the money. Yeah, well. she needed the money. Yeah. Uh, the least chosen number by uh, players is the number 13. So uh, again, yeah, the, these facts here are all true. Uh, the National Lottery has created over 110,000 jobs. So, yeah, so it's all just bits of information there wow. as well. So that just adds to, you know, the interest of the book. You can just, like, read through the, uh, nice. the facts there. It's so good. And you can see just from that, you know, this is a real workable book. And, you know, anyone can just give any number or a story or this or that. You can really just go from there. It's so good, seriously. Yeah. It's so good. And, and thanks for the challenge, Paul. I hope I passed your test. So the great King Zini. And he said his mind is blown. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. That went, that went years ago, but he is a champion of about 88 different clubs at the moment, so I can't challenge yeah. him too much. <laughs> but I'm glad he's watching, I'm glad he's watching. I, was, uh, I, know, I know he's got the book as well, so uh, nice. yeah, please for him, yeah. So he was definitely sitting there, seeing if he was cheating, wasn't he? He was oh, sitting there with a book oh, I can open. imagine he was going yeah. through the book there. Yeah. 100%, <laughs> definitely. Um, so guys, Dad, let me know if there's any more questions. If not, we'll drop the trailer, and I think... We're done. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, just want to answer a couple of things. Uh, already answered this, but I think Patrick joined us a little bit later. Patrick Holman said, is there an American version of the book? Uh, there isn't at the moment, but you don't really need one. You just say you were on holiday in the UK and you pick one up or a family member in the UK sent you one because it had some really funny stories in it. There's so many ways just to say it. And, and the thing is, it's a flippant comment, isn't it? Whenever we perform something, uh, even when we perform with half dollars, these are American half dollars. Mm -hmm. No one's seen them, but they all go, oh, it's cool. okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it <laughs> is one, the yeah. same. You've got a book and you say, oh, a friend of mine in the UK sent me this. You should read some of the stories in it. it they are crazy. And then that's it. That's the end of it. And now it's a, it's a UK book and, and they accept it for what it is. Um, it is in pounds, it's not in dollars, but once again, that one line covers everything. And no one's gonna question it. They're, they're just as likely to question a dollar one as they are a pound one. If they think the book's dodgy, yeah. they can look through it, they can read it, they'll find nothing. But if they think the book's dodgy, they're going to think it's dodgy either way. Just say, I got this book on funny UK lottery winners, that's it. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. the thing is, the book is not dodgy, so if they're going to think it's dodgy from the start, they're going to think yeah. it's dodgy full stop, but there is nothing to hide in there. It's nah. literally, yeah. that is no, everything can be examined to say, mm -hmm. there's no Sven, there's no yeah. anything like that. There's and no even, even to turn around and say, do you know what, I ordered a book off Amazon, and they sent me this one by mistake. I was going to send it back, but boy, funny, this yeah. is hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, know? true. And then you're, you're covered. It's um, brilliant. Right, and I think that is it. I'm just going to have a little scan through here. Have a look, see. Have a little look, see. No, you've got a lot of great comments, as you should have. The the book is incredible. So, guys, just to let you know. The book at the moment is winging its way to uh, the American warehouse. It should be there in the next sort of two or three days. It got held up in customs, but it should be there any day. So I would say if you're ordering from the site and you live in America, it's most probably going to be shipped for you on Monday, um, Monday or Tuesday at the latest, I would say. We've got them here in the UK. And also, if you have a look under the product, you should see that there are a couple of um, bonus uh, bundle deals going on as well with Martin's stuff. So um, Martin's stuff's always commercial, always pretty easy to do, um, and it's always entertaining. Yeah, we, we've done it on the live this afternoon, so if you go on uh, YouTube or the Facebook page, you'll be able to see me point to Loki, lovely fella, never met before. Yeah. Great entertainer, great man, uh, bounce off each other, lovely. Uh, I perform uh, Vegas Choice and Foods for Thought on there, so 
if you're interested in sort of you know bumping your thing up to get the free shipping or whatever have a look at those two products the performances are on the facebook page and the youtube channel from this afternoon mm. top stuff lovely Hi. Well, okay. Martin and Robin, pleasure to have you here as no, always. Thank you for you no, guys for doing it. Anna Kazam have done an amazing job as always. Uh, the friendliest company to work with, the best company in the UK by a mile. And uh, yeah, always a pleasure. Absolutely. Anna Kazam. Two right. Yeah. Two right. <laughs> and uh, Martin was showing us some stuff earlier, <laughs> and Robin was showing us some stuff earlier on. Yes. All amazing will be out in the future. Yes, Robin has come out with her first magic trick. I think it quite shocked Peter, but that's not what I said. It was a good one, though. I liked it. It was good. And uh, yeah, I've, I've got uh, one which is uh, yeah on superheroes and can be used for other things. But yeah, yeah I'll let the guys reveal it when it's around. It's so good. Well, guys, we'll drop the trailer again, and then maybe Dad and Jen will say hello. I'm not too sure, but that is all from us. So thank you very much for joining us. Right. Thanks, so guys. a big round of applause for the man himself, <laughs> Mr. Martin Marvel. <laughs> So, guys, thank you so much for joining us um, here on the Alexam Live launch. Now, on Friday, this coming Friday, Good Friday over here in the UK at 7 p.m., if you are a member of Unlimited, make sure you join us in Studio Live on the Unlimited platform at 7 p.m. this coming Friday. We're going to be doing a live watch along of my brand new effects Cyclone, which will also be dropped onto the platform around about that time. Mm -hmm. We're going to be discussing the effect, maybe some bonus tips and ideas for it as well. And we're trying out something new with the live as well. So we really want you on there, if you remember, because we really want to try this out with you guys, because we've got some very exciting things planned for Unlimited in the near future and also jamie will be dropping in some exciting news I yeah think. so if you are going to be there you are going to be the first people to find out firstly what we have coming next month so our next month's lineup um next month we've got three brand new creators joining the platform um, mm. one of the back projects that we've got so one of our archive pieces is from one of the biggest best mentalism dvds ever produced in magic in my opinion one of the first ones that i ever had um, and from an incredible name in mentalism um, but the most exciting thing is going to be happening at the end of next month so if you're an unlimited member we are going to be well i can't give no, too much don't away. tell We're them it's friday you're telling, you're telling something them um, amazing that you are gonna really enjoy um, and yeah. but not just that we've also got a couple of little surprises for you all as well yeah so it's really really worth you coming along if you're a member of unlimited then go in there if you're not a member of unlimited what are you doing um, we've got a lot of really really amazing things coming up um, and you're gonna really want to be a part of it I'm afraid yeah I mean bearing in mind unlimited cost one pound 25 per week <laughs> they have one pound yeah. 25 per week less than a cup of coffee per week to instantly get access to well over 150 videos new content added every week um, and there's new exclusives going on there there's so many exclusives already filmed that are going to be dropping over the coming months mm -hmm. plus what Jamie's going to announce on Friday you're going to you you are honestly if you think 4.99 is a bargain now <laughs> you're going to think Pete's really lost it on Friday yeah. um, let's just say that it's it's going to be incredible uh, it's something that you wouldn't expect us to be doing I mean you wouldn't expect it anyway but you really really wouldn't expect us to be doing this with no additional payment, so yeah. it, it's going to no additional payment. No additional. You no and additional you payment. and Harry um. have got a lot to answer for. Um, um. <laughs> so, on that bombshell, we will leave you, and we will see you on Friday evening. I'm going to have a very serious discussion 
with and both I'll be Jamie. For another job. <laughs> <laughs> with Jamie and Harry. Um, I'm going to leave you with the trailer. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. It, it really means the world to us that you join us here on these evenings. We've got another big live launch next week. Uh, sorry, not next week, next month. And this is for another item that we had at Blackpool that we have had hundreds of emails about. Mm -hmm. So make sure you join us for that. But before then, make sure you join us this Friday on Alexam Unlimited in the live studio at 7 o'clock. And be prepared for something a little bit new. It's going to be amazing. Mm. Very, 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 very excited. Very excited. D4 round, is it 115 a week as it is? It is. Mm. It's done the math. Did I say 115? No, I said 125, didn't I? Or did I say 115? 125. I did I say 125? Yeah, you said 125. Yeah, 125 a month. Right, okay, that's it. I'm not going to bother trying to work this out anymore. <laughs> it's 125 a week, sorry. 125 a week, four weeks in a month. Gives us a fiver. Right, so anyway, we're off. We're going to leave you with a trailer once more. I'll see you on Friday. See you then. Hello and welcome to Martin Pierce's Lucky Numbers. Lucky Numbers is a book test built into an innocent looking lottery book that allows you to reveal loads of different things, including colors, numbers, the date this person won, if they're male or female, and even how much they won. Believe it or not, there's even more you can reveal with lucky numbers. We're gonna try something here. This is like a lottery book, all right? And it's a story, a book of stories about all different lottery winners, about okay. what they would spend their money on. So just what would you spend your money if you won the lottery? Uh, me. Would you? Nice, hey, good, I like it, right? Yeah. But each one of these tells you about this person. So this person, Alice Bishop, these were the numbers she won with. That's what she ended up doing. So that's like her story. Oh, okay. And it's a bit of like a story about her as well. Um, and it also says the date they won and things like that. Take a look through the book, make sure all the pages are different and the stories are different, the numbers are different and everything like that. Perfect. Then yeah. close the book up and I think there's about 100 different stories in there. So just name a number between 1 and 100 and then turn to that page. 14. 14, 1, 4. Yeah. Okay, right. Turn to that page. Don't let... I'm going to obviously turn around. Take a look at that page. Open it up. And that is obviously all one story, okay? Okay. So just think about the lowest number there, the lowest ball number. Yeah. Okay. Imagine now we've got a big sort of, you know, the big mixers, right? Yeah. The big mixers. That's going to be going around and it's going to roll out this first ball, the lowest number, okay? Mm -hmm. This is uh, this is a white ball, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Is it? Yeah? yeah. White ball. You're going to pick it up. You're going to turn it around. You're going to see the number looking at you big and bold. This is number seven, isn't it? <gasps> number seven, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now uh, go to the next lowest ball. So again, numerical low. It's going to roll at the machine now. This is a this is blue this time, isn't it? Yep. And just think of the first number. Don't tell me. It's a two-digit number. Think of the first number for me. Don't say anything. Okay, that's coming through, through quite strong. Is it repeated? Is it the same number twice? Yes. Is it number 11? Wow. Is it? Lovely. Yeah. Perfect. Now the next ball's going to roll at the machine now. This is a this is a pink ball, isn't it? Yep. This is number 20, is it? Oh, stop. Is it? Lovely. Next ball's going to roll. It's another pink ball, isn't it? This yep. is close to that number. Is it 24? <gasps> How was it? do this? Awesome. Next one's going to roll out now. This is... Is this another pink ball? Yep. Okay, this is... Is this number 29? Yep. Okay, and that leaves one more ball, right? It does. Okay, imagine it's going to roll out the machine now. It's a... This is a green ball, isn't it? Yep. And this is number... Oh, this is a tough one. Just pick it up again and look at it and just in your mind, just imagine drawing that number out for me. This is number 36, is it? Yes. Number 36, it was. <laughs> wow. Awesome. How much did they win? Five million, five hundred thousand pounds. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Usman Shah. Name on a check is Usman Shah. Yeah, I'm going to, one last reveal. The date on the check. Go on then. What's the date on the check? 19th of August, 2001. 
The great thing about Lucky Numbers is the size. It will be perfect to carry around for walk around, but also stage and parlor. This book has got you covered. My name's Harry Nardi, and here at Alakazam, we are proud to present Lucky Numbers by Martin Pierce.